Hi guys, this is Madame LaRue and the Magic Tarot 123. This is your get insight on your situation and the energy surrounding you. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today is April 18th and the first angel number up is angel number 798. Okay. Wow. Let's get started. I just heard the name Angela. Angela number 798. All right. What do you want to say to this person? All right. So we have the Three of Pentacles. All right. Some form of collaboration. A contract. You might be seeing the number 333. What you want to say to angel number 798? Some form of uh, binding. Some form of binding is in your energy. All right, this is a contract for, of spiritual war. Okay. Definitely spiritual war, spiritual workings. All right, you might be seeing the number eight eight eight. Okay, and this is directed to your home, your union, your foundation. Okay, this is directed towards your foundation the foundation this is someone's home that's that's how I look at it okay it's directed to your home is it directed to her union on the bottom of the deck we have divine masculine unknown enemy Catch and kill your luck. Is that all you want? All right. On the top of the deck, I'm seeing a king of pentacles in the reverse of uh, voodoo practitioner, masculine voodoo practitioner in the reverse, a feminine voodoo practitioner in the reverse, and a werewolf in the physical so you have two may possibly have two people working on you one male one female and they may be werewolves okay they may be doing skull magic on you you need to have uh the spell thrown back on them so like a reversal all right There is a false high priestess in the reverse as well. So you have at least four people working against you. Okay, do you want those? Do you want the divine masculine and the... Uh, is he in the reverse? Is he a divine masculine? False divine masculine. False divine masculine, unknown enemy, catch and kill your luck. You want that. So spirit does want that on the board. Okay. All right, moving on to the next deck. Do you want this? All right. All right. Heaven's Wrath by a female. Uh, group of three. Do you want this in the reverse? Okay, so this is in the physical. Three, three, three again. This person may have uh, hired these people to do a... Uh, heaven's wrath spell on you okay that's it
All right. And so we have that as well. These are energies that you don't see. Especially if they're working on you in the astral realm, you're not going to see it. But it's all supposed to affect you here in the physical realm. I'm also hearing no rest for the wicked. To your second deck. What is this? Three of Pentacles. All right. This is a lot. This is something that's behind the veil. Someone's waiting for waiting for something. Uh, you may be waiting to break a jinx. You need a return to sender. You need to break the jinx. Okay. Okay. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. This is hidden. This is an occultist. Okay. This is an occultist that is in the group as well. That's in your physical. Okay. Clarify the occultist. Clarify the occultist, please. Clarify the occultist. All right. This person is the devil card pops out. This person is a dark, dark, dark person that works with the, the dark forces. Okay. That's who they made the contract with. Um, they might be a, an entity as well here, a demon or two. All right. Clarify the Knight of Swords, the spiritual attack. All right. This person, uh, someone's a seer, someone's watching. This is a seer. They're scrying. Okay. Crystal ball may be significant. Clarify the Page of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune pops out. Destiny. Okay. Someone's name may be Destiny. All right. Clarify the spiritual work. All right. The spiritual work, they have you in a war jar. Okay. Clarify the war jar. Yes, Queen of Cups. You are you are you have been placed in a war jar. Okay. Clarify the salt on her foundation, on her home. Possibly her union. Okay. Seeking refuge. You're seeking refuge at this time. Trying to get help. All right. You want to move, you you possibly may want to move, okay, and get out of there. All right. Clarify the sex, six of swords. All right. Yes. Uh, you might be seeing 666 because the six of pentacles comes out here. Uh, you're asking for help. I'm picking up like you need to get away and ask for help. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, this is an old curse that they, this um, unknown person did. You need an uncrossing. Here's the voodoo practitioner. She did ten of swords. And you also need to put up protection from this war. And then the, vo the masculine voodoo practitioner pops up. Okay. Next deck. All right. So, wow. There's a lot going on in your situation here. There is a lot going on in your situation. You need an uncrossing. You need protection from the spiritual war, spiritual attack. Okay, we're moving to moving on to deck number three.
All right. Clarify the hunt. Clarify the, the, the devil. Clarify this dark person. This demonic occultist. Okay, clock is flashing. You may be seeing numbers 941. 999444111. Okay, clarify this dark person. That's how they call Wow, another hermit. So there's two. Wow, I, I've never seen anything like this. There's two. Might be also seeing 999 for sure. Clarify the hermit. He, it, there, ooh, Lord, there's three of them. This was the, the contract. There's three uh, dark occultists. Oh, my God. Clarify that. Next. Do you want me to stop? They're all in the occult. It's almost like a satanic group. The voodoo practitioner is part of it. Shuffle. What do you want me to say? Do you want me to stop? He's a, this is a very dark group. Moving on to the next. Clarify the group. Clarify the group. Um, all right. Put them out of vehicle. Clarify the group. You need to call for your angels. Clarify the group, please. And there is a empress in reverse as well that's part of this okay she's also a dark person all right she may be the concubine of all three of them all right clarify this wheel of fortune and seer in war clarify Clarify the, the seer that's watching the destiny. A cycle you need to break out of. You need to break out of the cycle. Okay. Clarify the word. The seer. Clarifies the seer again. This person's in a cycle of war. Okay. Clarify clarify the cycle of food. It's like I'm getting like this is something that has been happening through time. Okay. Not over time, but through time. Past lives. Okay. Dimensions as well. Okay. Clarify. Do you want these? You want them? Okay. Clarify the world and the page of pentacles, please. Clarify the world and the page of pentacles, please. Do you need there's a high priest here? And this person is of light. Is this person the high priest? Is this is he of light? Okay, so there's a high priest here. Um, uh, this may be a guide, a spiritual guide. Okay. I'm get. I'm here in two lifetimes. Two lifetimes this war been going on. Okay. 
clarify the Queen of Cups and War that the spell work has been on that's in the jar. This is supposed to give you Heaven's Wrath. Clarify the Heaven's Wrath. All right. This is supposed to catch and kill your luck, okay? Catch and kill the luck. And what else you want to say about that? What else you want to say about that? This card wanted to come out. There's a ghost in your mix as well. All right. Clarify this. Heaven's Wrath. A young girl between the age of 25 and under. Mother and daughter. Okay. Clarify the leaving, asking, begging for help. Leaving your house. Okay. It's almost like somebody wants you to leave and become homeless or something like that. There's a witch. A dark witch she does uh, root work okay you may have asked someone you may have went and asked someone for help here and she's showing up as a dark witch clarify the queen of wands that wanted to come out you thought she was a, a person of light okay also I'm feeling like she tapped into your uh, crown chakra and um, Siphoning your energy from your crown chakra. Clarify the queen of wands. Clarify the queen of wands. You want the high priestess? She's a high priestess. You're showing up as a high priestess. Okay. Is that what's going on? No. Do you want the high priestess on the board? You ask the high priestess for help. Do you want her on the board? Take her off. She was claiming she was a high priestess. The witch was clarifying that she was a high priestess. Okay. Clarify this false high priestess. Okay, by the first high priestess. Lover. The lovers come out. You may have went to her about your lover. Bottom of the deck, we have a queen of swords. There's the dark high priestess. And uh, a dark wizard. So she cloaked herself as a high, as a true high priestess. But she's dark, dark high priestess. Okay. Top of the deck, we have judgment, spiritual attack, and judgment again. This is going to be a double judgment. I'm feeling like a double-edged sword. Uh, this this may be physically legal, illegal, and illegal in the spiritual realm. You may actually have a case here. Okay. All right. Top of the deck, we have a dark wizard. Someone's trying to block your intuition. It could be this witch who's siphoning off of your uh, crown chakra. I'm hearing the number 500. You may have paid somebody $500. Clarify the Empress. Three forms of sorrow spell. Okay. Three forms of sorrow, heart attack, um, loss, and depression and sadness. Okay. 
clarify the three forms of soul. Someone was offered something and you refused it? No. Or someone's going to offer you something you need to refuse. This is being offered in the dream state. You may have had a dream that somebody was giving you something to eat, to drink, giving her, giving this person something. It's not food, but they were giving you something. You need to refuse it. The color red is very significant. All right. Claire, what is this? Uh, I feel whatever they're giving you in the astral realm is what's going to cause some form of... Uh, Damn, there's the ghost. There's the ghost. Do you want the ghost? Oh, wow. This ghost is supposed to give her three forms of sorrow. Mm. Clarify the hair bone. Clarify the hair bone. Okay, so we have the four of wands that came out here earlier with the 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 false high priestess the witch that you went away to get help from she shows up here on the hierophant okay now i'm looking at it it's starting to feel like this guide here you may have went to both of them one man one woman okay they're they're part of the spell they're part of this spell here Clarify the four of wands. Soulmate. Wow. This is definitely an attack on your soulmate. Attack on you and your soulmate. Your divine union. This is definitely an attack on your divine union. Your soulmate union. Okay. Clarify the soulmate union. This is a sacrifice. They're trying to sacrifice you and your partner. No, sacrifice her and her soulmate. Wow. They're trying to sacrifice you and your soulmate. Mm. Clarify this page of cups. That's heaven's mother and daughter, heaven's wrath. You definitely need a uh, a reversal. Okay, you may be seeing 222 two, two a lot. You need a reversal. Okay. Clarify the two of pentacles. You need to call on your angels. Okay, so what the, the spell that they put on you and your daughter uh, is a four of swords, slow death spell. Okay, you need to cancel all death spell. It's can you might be seeing four 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 as well. Cancel all death spells. This uh, demonic force, you may have multiple demons in your in your auric field at this time. And a ghost. Okay. Clarify this. Wow. Yes, you need to be released from this binding. They binded you. You need a release. Okay. The, uh, something about a full moon. They did this during the full moon to put you in this cycle. Full moon ritual cycle. Yeah. Uh, we have the, the moon, the chariot. They did this quickly. The tower moment, the world. The three of cups, that was the group celebrating. Then you show up, the queen of cups. Here's the magician, the magic, and there's your daughter. Some of the stuff was done in the astral realm as well. Clarify the lovers. So the lovers show up with the high priestess, the dark high priestess and the, the dark occultist. They're the lovers that you went to go ask for help. Clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers. You need to put up protection. That's protection uh, twice. Okay? You need strong protection. Clarify this protection. They are watching online. You may also be a gatekeeper. You may be a spiritual gatekeeper. 
That's one of your gifts. Okay. <laughs> You're the way in and out. Okay. Clarify the two of wands. They placed a bounty on your head. You have a, a demonic bounty hunter. All right. There's a curse here to inflict harm or to leave you and your soulmate as lost souls. Because since you're the gatekeeper, it's almost like they're trying to push you out of your position and lock the door and leave you out. So you will never come back to life. I split the deck, Ace of Swords, a strong death spell. All right, this is your last deck. Uh, you want this is a reading of uh, detailed reading that I have on my website at www.bli8hcreations.site. This is very detailed, a lot of information here. I would suggest that you give me a call. All right, uh, this I'm feeling is urgent. This is an urgent matter. Okay, for you and your and yours okay uh we can see w what is can be done all right the first things first is protection nothing can be done unless we do that first okay all right clarify this knight of cups please knight of cups king of swords this ghost is a masculine ghost okay what about this uh masculine ghost Okay, I'm crossing. All right, so this ghost is supposed to cross you up. Okay, clarify that I'm crossing. You, there's a lot of stuff that, that you need here. I've never seen so much work done. Yeah, you need to uncross, uncross the lovers. Uncross this soulmate. This soulmate energy comes out again. This ghost may be talking to you as if he this he's your um, soulmate. They may be using this ghost to telepathically speak to you. I don't believe any of them are telepathic. This ghost, they have a thing where they can summon a spirit to allow them to speak to you for at least an hour. Please don't speak to it. We need to put up protection and remove it. That is not your soulmate. The hang this this uh entity that they're using is supposed to help with the sacrifice of you and your true soulmate. Clarify the hangman. All right, the hangman. This is multiple hexes, hexes, curses, and jinx that are being sent. What else here? You definitely need a return to sender. Okay, uh, with the seven of wands, defend yourself. You need to defend yourself. So you can move on to calmer waters, okay? Uh, clarify this unbinding. You need the unbinding. They binded you. Okay. You need a jinx breaker. They jinxed you. Someone's, uh, this ghost may be doing sex. Uh, they're using this ghost to do sex magic on you. On your daughter. Okay. That's the jinx. Clarify that. Clarify that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they may have used the crossroad. Okay. Also, um, this is something that you wouldn't see with the two of swords. Uh, you definitely need to put up protection. All right. Knight of Wands. This is not to instill fear. If you don't know, you'll never know. Okay, and they can continue working. Fear is the lowest energy. 
We don't fear shit over here. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. This is to catch and... The bounty is to catch and kill your love. The bounty is to kill you. That's that's what it is. To unalive you. Clarify. Trigger. Warning. Clarify the food. Alright, so... Here is the... What pops up is a feminine cult. They were hidden. This bounty hunter is part of a feminine cult. Okay, clarify the nine of pentacles, please. Hawks may be significant. Clarify the nine of pentacles. And this is definitely spiritual war. Okay, a group. Part, or is this person part of the group? Part of this demonic group? No. This bounty hunter was hired to inflict harm, okay, and to bring the old curse. All right, top of the deck, we have the demon, the chariot, and the, the ten of pentacles. They paid, they may have attached a entity to your vehicle, okay, a dark, dark entity to your vehicle. Someone paid, for, and your money. Say so they binded up your money, they added a demon to your money. Okay. You need you definitely with the two of pentacles. You need something to swap the backs, which swap the the ghost back to them, which will leave them in a hangman. Okay. This return to uh, return to sender. You you need a lot more than a return to sender. Okay. Uh, please reach out to me at www.bli88creations.site. Uh, this is very detailed. I don't believe you might, you might have to get another reading to, for us to figure out exactly what we need to do, because there's only but so much I can say here. These are the energies that is surrounding you, okay? Uh, once we do that, if I, if I can do anything, I'm, I'm not even sure, because that's, that's a lot of forces right there, so I'm not even sure if my spirit team is going to allow me to tap into that energy, okay? This is why you do a follow-up phone call. A phone call get in sight reading all right that's the next step for you and um, I hope this helped you um, it brought you some form of clarification uh, definitely reach out for that protection okay but first step first things first all right uh, I want you to have a wonderful day and thank you for choosing bliss creations I am Madame LaRue Okay, next up we have uh, angel number 380. You also uh, ordered the deep dive detailed reading. It will include four decks, five decks. So five deck read. All right. So um, clock is flashing. Ten oh five. You might be seeing one 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 five five five. Here ten ten. And again, this is for angel number three eight zero. Angel number three eight zero. Here we go.
somebody gets nosebleeds. Somebody in this reading gets nosebleeds. All right, behind the veil, so there's a salt in the astral. Okay. Angel number 380. A dark magician. All right. All right. So there's a magician in the physical realm. All right. That's confirmation. Somebody here may name uh, Jennifer. What else you want to say about this? Uh, 380, about 380. Three forms of sorrow in the reverse, in the upright. Three forms of sorrow. You might be saying 111333. 380, message for 380, please. Okay, we come, it's coming up with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is either a vengeful wrongdoing. That's what's here, avenging for wrongdoing. Okay. And that's what, okay. Some more spirit. And the Three of Cups. A group gathering. On the top of the deck, we have a King of Swords and an Astral. Trying to escape to freedom, judgment in the astral. Empress in reverse, two of cups in the physical, and someone is an uncrossing in the astral. There's also a soul sucker, um, uh, incubus, and this masculine is an incubus. We have a voodoo practitioner offering something that you don't want, something that was offered in the dream state, and you need protection in the astral. There's multiple hexes somebody paid for. Um, your inheritance in the spiritual realm. Someone's using your money in the spiritual realm. Okay. Do you want these out? Spirit want these cards out. Okay. Confirmation. Yes, um, you need a, a return to sender, swap back. All right, definitely assault in the astral. You're being assaulted in the astral. Alrighty, so mm -hmm. what is this magician? Two of swords. Blocking intuition. Using the crossroad. Blocking someone's intuition. This magician is blocking someone's intuition. Okay. Clarify the two of swords. At your house. Magician is blocking your intuition at your house. This magician is at your house. Okay. Clarify the three of swords. This is for angel number 380. 
There's a jinx. This three of swords is supposed to jinx you, hex you, curse you. Okay. Clarify the jinx. Definitely double jinx. You need a jinx breaker. You're double jinx. Possibly more than that, but right now that's what's showing up here. Double jinx. Three forms of sorrow on the top of the deck. Who's a practitioner on the bottom? Petition. All right. Clarify the six of wands. It's avenging for wrongdoing. Ooh. Behind the veil, skull magic affecting your chakras, all chakras. This is a spiritual attack. There's also a young boy that's being attacked as well. Okay. Clarify the six of wands. All right. Uh, a witch avenging for wrongdoing. Clarify the witch. Clarify the witch, please. Clarify the witch. And an empress. Wow. A mother. Okay. Clarify this three of cups. High priestess. High priestess wanted to come out. Do you want her? Group gathering against the high priestess. <laughs> Clarify the high priestess, please. Someone here mocks when I say uh, clock is flashing. Someone says clock is flashing. Okay. I heard you. Uh, the high priestess. And the high priest. Wow. Group gathering against the high priestess and the high priest. Voodoo practitioner on the top, on the, on the top, bottom of the deck. On crossing. War jar. Queen of Cups. Ten of Swords. Protection from war. Death unto enemy. Someone did a death unto enemy spell with a ghost. Uh, supposed to have make it. The voodoo practitioner have a slow death. This is a contract of a sacrifice, but justice is here. This person is a gatekeeper. Someone has a bounty that's going to lead to lead to them being trapped in the astral, lost souls in the astral, and the magician pops up. Young boy again. <clears throat> Do you want these cards out? You want everything I said? You want these? Okay, so masculine voodoo practitioner needs an uncrossing. Looking for an uncrossing. Masculine voodoo practitioner looking for an uncrossing from this jar spell that was created against the Queen of Cups. This was sorcery of the worst kind, but they didn't know that she was protected from this war and this death spell. Is this the reading? Part of the reading. There's a ghost. Okay, that's all you want. But there is a ghost. A ghost may have been used top of the deck. Uh, dark occultists seeking refuge with the... Uh, so, it's looking like... I'm not sure if you were part of this group. Okay? Uh, but here, you are showing up as part of the feminine cult. Okay? This dark occultist is part was your past lover or someone that you, you was dating. That may be part of this as well. All right. That's the one that sent the succubus. No, that's he's a succubus. She is a succubus. Wow. Wow. There's the demon. The succubus that sent the demon to the child. Damn. Oh, Lord of mercy. Do you want this on the board? Holy fuck. Now that's deep. So the person I'm reading is the one that sent the succubus to the child and is sent the, the incubus to the child and was part of the group here. <sighs> you know, sometimes it's best if I don't read nobody, you know, because this here shit, yeah. Now everybody needs help in trying to figure out what's going to happen to their life. Because shit is falling apart, falling down. London Bridge is falling down. That might be significant. 
Wow, wow, wow. Old curse. They use the name of the high priestess and the high priest during this group gathering. Uh, binding a demon to a child. Mm. That's deep spirit. This is the energy surrounding you at this time, angel number 380. Finding out that you were part of the cult or coven that came up against this high priestess. All right. You also may have attacked the high priest children. This group. Okay. Not you specifically, but you somehow as a part of the feminine cult that was part of this. This is why this energy is around you. Because you were part of the cult. All right. To catch and kill someone's luck. All right. Clarify this blocked house. This house is blocked. Alright. There's no healing. Alright. There's no healing. Someone here may have tried to run and go pour out the jar spell. Or get rid of the spell in the middle of the night. Now that shit is hitting the fan. There's the demon. Karma. Mm. Clarify the star in reverse. About to start trying to pour it out, hanged man. You think you're this is going to help you from being judged? You're being judged for the sacrificial uh, ceremonies that you did. You want me to keep you want these cards, okay? But that's in the that's in the behind the veil, that's in the veil, okay. Definitely, there was some skull magic done on this empress, or skull magic done by this empress, or on the empress, by the empress, on the empress. Graveyard magic done by the empress. Graveyard magic done by the the witch and the empress. Mm. Graveyard magic, empress, unknown enemy. This person did a double. Double spell? Sacrificial spell? What? Whoa. Whoa there, Captain. Somebody may be a captain. All right. Clarify the star card. Hangman. Blocked house. Blocked gifts. Uh, pouring out the... the uh, Spell still leaves you in the hanged man position in the astral. Everything is blocked. Your magical gifts are blocked. You are blocked. Okay. Clarify this. Keep going here. All right, clarify this jinx, please. Clarify this jinx. Clarify this jinx. Wow. Things are flipping up and over. There's the ghost. Things may feel out of control. You're double jinxed. Clarify this knight of cups, the ghost. Clarify the knight of cups. The King of Cups. You're double jinxed because of whatever you sent out on this. And there's the Empress right here again. Shows up earlier. Um, whatever you did to Divine Masculine, that puts you in, in the double jinx. No? Hmm. Well, I asked, what is this? What is this jinx breaker? Oh, I said what the, the jinx breaker. That's what it is. There's a jinx and then there's a jinx breaker. But you are double jinx. The, the ghost was supposed to cost a jinx. The jinx breaker 
Divine Masculine. Five star. So, what are you saying? Like, the Divine Masculine break the jinx? Divine Masculine broke the jinx. There's three forms of sorrow, jinx, curse, hex was broken. All right, keep, ooh, keep going. Clarify this queen of wands. This was an injustice, this avenging for wrongdoing. Someone lied here, okay? And, and I feel like someone got other people involved with their lie, okay? These people are starting to find out that, that you are a liar, all right? That you you are the one is this is am I speaking to the actual person that you were part of the spiritual war showing up as a dark high priestess? There's definitely a tower moment here. Heaven's wrath may be coming down on your soul. Okay, clarify this, Empress. Unprotected. This is unjust, injustice, the avenging for wrongdoing. Who is she? Is she, who is she in this group? Who is she? You are showing up as the hangman. You are the hangman. Is she a witch? Who is she? Again, spirit brings me right back. You're the hangman. Okay. Clarify this high priestess. Clarify the high priestess. Clarify the high priestess, please. That one is to come out. Lovers. You want that? So the high priest and the high priestess are lovers. All right. Clarify the lovers. And their children. This attack was on their household, their family. Dark Empress, Destiny's Wheel, Justice. What you don't see, some form of death of a wizard. Okay, top of the deck, Judgment, Tower Moment. And uh, page of wands. That page of wands has been coming up a lot. Um, some form of judgment that that is judgment from the dead, from beyond the grave, for whatever you did to that young boy. Episode one. Also, something about scissors. You may have tried to cut the civil cord of the child children. Something about scissors. I do understand that you're going to say that you have no idea what I'm talking about, and I'm sure you don't. Something has been swapped back. You want that? Something definitely has been swapped back to you. Okay. Clarify this two of pentacles. Which hangs me. You are the witch in this scenario that did the injustice, the injustice, injustice. Wow. Someone might not know how to read, might be illiterate. You may have also done uh, 
These spells, yes. I am. You don't know how to read. So, you added stuff to it that wasn't supposed to be there. So, that will be added back to you. All right. What is the Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups, this ghost that you put on the little girl. This demonic ghost that was supposed to jinx the little girl. Wow. Clarify the King of Cups. That ghost to jinx. I broke the jinx that was sent out on the house. Okay. Clarify the justice. The injustice that this queen this queen of wands, the witch did. Clarify the injustice. It's a cycle. Something this injustice has placed you in a cycle. An eternal cycle. Clarify the unprotected empress. Unprotected Empress. Graveyard magic. You did graveyard magic and didn't protect yourself. You're a mother and you did graveyard. Is she pregnant? But she's a mother. You did graveyard magic and you did not protect yourself. Okay. Clarify the lovers. Ooh. Also, um, with this uh, spell here on the high priest and the high priestess, it's also feeling like uh, this spell may include uh, a spirit baby. Okay. That's probably what was added to the spell. To sever the cord of the spirit baby that may come forth on these on this high priest and high priestess. The child, the child or the daughter of the all right. What is this lover? Someone definitely suffers from uh nosebleeds. Uh three of wands, galactical federation. They're they're galactical federational lovers. Oh, okay. Clarify the page of cups. Clarify the galactical, the page of cups. Clarify the page of cups. Wow. Um, the galactical federation is going to avenge for wrongdoing that you did to the astral baby, also to the physical girls in here. Okay. So they're avenging. Uh, that was the six of wands. It pops up here on the bottom. So you're entered into a cycle. At possibly most likely at night a graveyard cycle at night that would be conducted by the galactical federation and you are showing up as part of the feminine cult again past life or past lover of the high priest hmm. seeking refuge now because you wanted to win at all costs so you went over to the masculine cult off with their heads you wanted to kill slow slow death but it has been unbinded the unbinded curse the angels have arrived uh, someone wants to collect for your wrongdoing somebody wants to collect your soul okay top of the deck we have unknown enemy and justice is coming in by werewolf okay for the lovers for this ten of swords contract that you did all right last deck and then we'll head on out out of here uh, if you like a reading like this, this will get insight on my website, www.bli88creations.site. It is a featured item this month. Uh, you click that. I will upload your reading, referring to by your last three digits of your order number, which is presented in the reading as an angel number. This message is for angel number 382. A red cord, a red belt is significant. Clarify this two of cups. Uh, you want to clarify what's being swapped back to the Queen of Wands? Okay. Clarify this two of pentacles, please. Something's coming in quickly. Trojans may be significant. All right. Clarify what's coming in quickly. Clarify what's coming in quickly. Something that you don't want. This is in the astral. You're being charged in the astral. Clarify this. Uh, what's coming in quickly that they don't want. Ooh. 
Uh, that was that came out. All right, shuffle. Clarify what this person is not going to want. Being offered something you don't want. Female voodoo practitioner, right here. And the offer that that came out earlier. The offer you don't want. <laughs> And then Queen of Pentacles. You want me to stop there? Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Moving on. This is something that you don't want that's coming in quickly. Uh, and then the female voodoo practitioner popped up. Okay. Uh, clarify the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Someone's scrying. You're a scryer. You're a seer. Okay. This witch is a seer. Your gifts are blocked. That's why you're here asking me for a reading. But you can't see. All right. Okay, so the ghost. You want me to clarify this and then this? Clarify. Okay. Clarify this uh, page of cups and the house. Okay, so whatever that was that Jinx has been blocked, you are blocked. You definitely get nosebleeds. Or will be getting nosebleeds. Uh, that's brain pressure, possibly. Okay, so that offer in the dream state, because you offered this daughter, or whatever ghost you sent out to offer the daughter something in the astral has been blocked. Okay, That would have caused the jinx. Clarify this for a... Uh, wow, do you want that? Ooh. Clarify the four of one. So something is uh, with the nine of pentacles showing up and you are showing up as part of the feminine cult. Something's coming in as well because the nine of pentacles show up. Blocked feminine cult. Mm. Clarify that. Block feminine cult. Page of Wands. Y'all sprung on that boy, huh? Clarify the uh, page of Pentacles block. Y'all looking for a jinx breaker. You guys are jinxed. They sent you to see if you can get help. You may appear innocent. Okay. Clarify this world cycle of uh, graveyard magic. Eternal cycle with the graveyard. You went into the graveyard unprotected and did and got graveyard dirt. <laughs> you probably didn't leave an offering. You probably didn't even ask. You took it. You stole it. <laughs> and uh, you're going to be attacked by the peoples of that graveyard. <laughs> Clarify this world cycle. Oh, what was that? The masculine cult. Well, they watching. They watching. They, they in the thick of it, too. What's this world? This cycle in the graveyard. Wow, what was that? Justice. You want that? They're coming for justice because this was an injustice on their graveyard. And also the injustice on the high priest and high priestess, galactical couple and their child and their children. Okay. This is going to be a severe attack by this um, graveyard. And it's, it's with the cycle coming out, it could be the peoples of the graveyard's bloodline that's going to be attacking you for eternity. Okay. Clarify this more. Past life. You may have done this in your past life. 
this was something that you were supposed to change and not do in this life so you would have vindicated your bloodline instead you disgraced them all right clarify the six of cups clarify the six of cups You want that? Clarify the six of cups. Wow. <sighs> you so you tried to block the pathway of the lovers coming together. That that was the agenda. Clarify. <laughs> I cannot clarify the. Uh, past life justice or past situation. What is this? Clarify this situation. And the emperor shows up. So you were definitely part of this group. Okay. One man sacrificed all of y'all. Clarify this uh, avenging for wrongdoing by the Galactic Confederation. Ten of swords. Sorcery of the worst kind. The wrongdoing that you did was sorcery of the worst kind. Okay. Clarify the sense of it. Clarify the, You're going to be attacked. Um, also, I'm seeing... Um, I'm seeing clouds. I'm seeing... Oh. Galactical beings. Clarify the ten of swords. And there it is, the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups started out this reading. We have the Three of Cups, and then I clarified it with the high, and it clarified the High Priest and the High Priestess. Clarified that came into the Lovers and their Child. Clarified that came into the uh, Galactic Confederation, Avenger for Wrongdoing, and the Sorcerer of the Worst Kind, and the Three of Cups. You did it message of concern you need to watch that reading message of concern this was the astral assault that you did all right can you clarify the uh three of cups and sorcery of those kind this is going to be their punishment there's a ghost page of cups no no uh-uh uh-uh that's the page of cups that's the little girl so this a vengeance is stemming from the assault on the galactical child that is supposed to be brought forth as well. This is going to be strong, okay? Gatekeeper, Galactical Federation, you wanted to win at all costs. High Priest, Magician, Uncrossed. It's almost, uh, the ghost is coming in for... There's a ghost or a possible deity that's coming in for to give bring judgment on your soul, okay? Top of the deck... You worked on the divine feminine. You did spiritual working. You did demonic spiritual working on the divine feminine. And and sex magic on the child that's going to leave you to hanged man. And there you go. That is your reading. You and your partner. All right. Uh, I don't believe I will be helping you here. I don't believe this is something I'm going to tap into. Um, you're going to have to seek refuge somewhere else. If there's any... Uh, you do not have to follow up with me. There's no need to do so. Uh, for anybody else that would like to get a Get Insight reading, I do also read the karmics, okay? Um, and I will let you know if I can help you. Um, I do read the karmics. Um, I don't help the karmics, but I do read you. I let karma help you with your situation. Since that's what you like to, you guys like to play with destiny. You like to play with karma's wheel and all of that. I let karma handle you. Uh, but if you do need insight to see where this is going and why your life is fucked up, karmics, I will read your soul and let you know why. And, you know, I guess that's the only way I could help you because then you are showing up as an unknown enemy. I don't know you and neither does this uh, high priestess or high priest. All right. Um, I hope this message was able to help you uh, clear some stuff up on why your life is going downhill.
but um, in the meantime, I would like for my collective to tune into my live channel. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate you all. And uh, to remember, always go within or go without. Okay? Don't do anything God wouldn't want you to do. Thank you.